Now, for some, this game was important. You know, win or lose, just to be at the PNL party, even for for more sentimental reasons. Sometimes Betsy Webster is there in the Power and Light District for us. And Betsy, I understand you found quite a heartwarming story while there. Well, absolutely, Carolyn. Two sisters, born and raised in California flew out here to get a table at the now very empty power and light and they did it in honor of their dad a kansas city native lifelong chiefs fan who died just two months after last year's super bowl win the lawler sisters watched every game with their dad since they were kids they actually brought a photo of him with them to put on their bar table tonight he made it to age 80 living just long enough to see the chiefs take home the trophy last year all those memories long distance, so they just had to be here this year in person. He got to see them win the Super Bowl. Oh, for sure. So, yeah, we, yeah. The whole them. season, we were out going to games together at the bars and having such a good time. And then, um, we, you know, he was there when they won the Super Bowl. We were all together, so that was really exciting. And we're it was just amazing. Excited we got to, to be watch here. the parade together, and yeah, yeah. He had a, he yeah, yeah no, he had he a totally blessed life. Yeah. He did. He was an amazing human and blessed life, and we all have to pass on at some point. So we're so lucky. And, you know, they said that they consider themselves so lucky. But when they say that, they didn't mean about winning or losing the Super Bowl. They were lucky to have those memories with their dad, lucky that he got to see the Chiefs win a Super Bowl for the first time in 50 years last year. So how things ended today really doesn't end how special the night was for them. Reporting live in Kansas City, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Actually, a very good reminder. Betsy, thank you for that story.